Hey friends, it's Laura. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit quieter than usual. I am sick, so it hurts to strain my voice at all. Uh, today we will be working in my 2019 December Daily Traveler's Notebook, and I'm going to be making my intro page, which, if you've ever watched any of my past December Daily videos, you will know that I start every single one of my December Daily Traveler's Notebook albums with a sequin shaker page. So you can see that's what I'm working on right now. I grabbed a 12 by 12 scrapbooking plastic page protector and folded it in half and now I'm using my fuse tool to fuse up the side where it will end up being cut to be the correct size to fit in my traveler's notebook. And you can see that I also, whenever I'm fusing anything, I will fuse it on one side twice, and then I flip over the plastic and I fuse that same line on the other side, on the back side of it. And I found that that is just a way that ensures a little bit better that things will stay fused. I have a love-hate relationship with the fuse tool in that I find that it is not super reliable or dependable. A lot of times what you fuse will end up uh, coming apart. So using the fuse tool on both sides of the plastic page protector, no matter what project I'm working on and fusing, that seems to do the trick and really make things hold up better. So once I have that cut down and fused, I am going through my sequin stash here. And you can see the base of what I start with is what came in my wild hair kit this month. And I am using my wild hair kit for my December daily. I am absolutely obsessed with this kit. If you haven't seen the unboxing video, you can check that out on my channel. So I started by pouring out that entire sequin mix on my desk and I pulled out all of of the gorgeous tiny gold stars and I put that in my page protector and then I'm going to go through a lot of the sequins that I have in my stash and add to that so I'm adding some gold I add clear sequins to almost everything some of these sparkly rhinestone type sequins and these ones that look like they're red but once I get them in the page protector they don't actually look red anymore they end up looking light pink so after a while I stop with that and I go through my Valentine's themed sequin here and I pull out some of the white ones and the red ones and I add them into here so you can see right now my wild hair kit sequin pack that came in my kit this month is largely untouched at the bottom right hand side of my screen but don't worry I will end up adding all of those sequins in there except for one of the colors and that was the iridescent pink ones because they reflected back a lot of other colors that didn't feel super Christmassy to me so I just added a few of those because they reflect kind of like a teal color I added a few of those so it would pull in some of the teals and the blues that are in the snowflake collection that I'm working with this month and other than that I left the rest of those iridescent ones out and I added all of the other ones that were in that mix into my page protector here along with some Christmas trees and some phrases that say Merry Christmas from my stash. So here's what this ends up looking like. It is gorgeous and very Christmas themed. I love it with all the white and the gold and the red. And now I'm going through my snowflake sticker book here and this was in my wild hair kit this month and I am creating some art to go on top of this shaker page. I love how it turns out so much. I think it's so cute. I especially love that copper foil deer and I mean the whole thing is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. I love my wild hair kit this month and I love the sequin shaker page. It is probably my favorite for December daily that I have ever made. So you can see how that goes in here 
and uh, obviously I fused the top of that shut as well and went over that twice with my fuse tool and this is what that shaker page looks like. It's so pretty guys, so pretty. And then I am adding this really cute fabric bow that was a DIY that I made and I'll have a video up later this month with how to make those. And then the very last thing I do is I add a couple of ephemera pieces from the Snowflake collection over to the pockets on the left hand side of my album here just to decorate it up a little bit. And that is what the start of my album looks like in the intro page. So I hope you have enjoyed the sneak peek at what my album is shaping up to look like. If you want to see more make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will catch you in the next video. Give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. It would be so much appreciated and I will catch you later. Bye friends.